So going here into goals in Asana, you can see that this is what Rabina on the enterprise tech team is responsible for. And so here in Asana with goals, she can see all the work that is connected, how it's laddering up to other goals and initiatives, as well as a description of what this goal is about. Now, Rubina on our enterprise team has a lot of cross-functional stakeholders and she wants to keep them in the loop. Rather than having to manually do that, she can use what we call automatic progress rollups on goals to make sure that all the work that's connected, in this case, I'm gonna add one more project, as that work progresses and is updated, it's automatically going to update the progress against this goal because it is connected here, all through automation. Now, let's say she wants to see, hey, is this goal really getting at what we need it to be? Having to create a project, assign out tasks, and do all of that manually because this is a workflow that she continues to repeatedly scale out, she can use what we call project templates to do that automatically. And so what I'm going to show you is how does she move this phase, phase two AI pilot project implementation into action. So going back into that portfolio, she can click create project from template. This is the template she's created. That way, she's done the heavy lifting up front, and as new initiatives are ready to kick off, it's as easy as a few clicks. And so we're gonna say, click Use Template. We're gonna change this to AI Project Template Pilot. And we're gonna click Create Project. And what Asana is gonna do is, based on that template, build out this project with all the right sections, structure, and pre-work tasks that Rubina has already known that she needs the team to get going on this the second that this project is created. So she can see right here that Kevin is going to get started on these first few project initiation steps and get moving. So this is great for creating that structure automatically. But what if something changes and now she wants to change the structure of these? versus having to go in manually and change a field or rule or step at every project that is connected to this template, she can use workflow scalability to immediately do this with a few clicks. So going back to that project tracker, which she uses to understand how work is progressing and in flight, she can go to this customized menu, scroll down, and with workflow scalability, she has this section where she's defined two new fields she wants to add to the template and a new rule. Before adding it to the project template, which then will scale out across all connected workflows, she can see which projects it is connected to and know that that change is going to happen across the finance, sales, operations, and marketing projects that are connected here. So clicking in here, before even looking and drilling into the work between Amy, Kevin, Luis, Sarah, she can see visually that, oh, wow, Amy is about to be over capacity in the next few weeks. This is how she, as a strategy and ops lead, can help reallocate work to ensure that they don't miss their targets and initiatives without burning out the team. And so with Asana, she can go ahead and drill into the work pieces because as Brianna mentioned at the beginning, Asana is that map of all work within an organization. And you can see from the daily tasks to the projects, portfolios, all the way up to the goals, all the work that's in flight across a team. And so this is a perfect example of how Rubina can quickly understand what is everything that Amy is responsible and putting her over capacity. And as easy as just drag and drop she can reassign work to other members of her team so that they can rebalance the workload.